e loa Maya Neyma Inza Maya Neyma Inza Well, narrator Gaia Let's hear the, uh, uh, the story Long ago, in the early 1600s, a group of people in England wanted to pray and worship God in their own way. The king controlled the Church of England, and everyone was ordered to go to the same type of church. Anyone who dared to disobey would be sent to jail. The group of people who wanted to free the Church of England from the king's rule, making it pure, were known as the Puritans. To escape the rule of the king and his church, around a hundred men, women, and children left their homeland, with their dream of religious freedom, they sailed on a ship, the Mayflower, on a pilgrimage to the New World. At one point, I'm sure they thought that they would be sinking. Oh, we're going down! We're going down! But these brave travelers, the pilgrims, landed in Plymouth after their long six-week journey. It was December 11th, 1620. The cold winter had set in. The land was strange to them, and nothing seemed familiar. The winter was long and cold and very hard for the pilgrims. The Native American Indians helped by supplying them with seeds and food, teaching them about their new home, and giving them the skills needed to survive in a strange new land. The first year in their new home was hard for the pilgrims. Many died. With seeds and plants Received from the Indians, the pilgrims planted crops. The fall harvest was a good one. To celebrate their blessings, the pilgrims had a feast of Thanksgiving. Many foods were cooked for the feast. Wild turkey, duck, and venison were probably served, along with fish, pumpkins, squash, corn, sweet potatoes, and cranberries. Captain Miles Standish, the leader of the pilgrims, invited all of their Indian friends who had helped them so much during their first year. Everyone had a good day of Thanksgiving. The feast lasted for three days. This harvest feast in 1621 is often called the first Thanksgiving. Over the years, the day we now celebrate as Thanksgiving has become an important tradition in the United States and a day of giving thanks for all that we have. Abraham Lincoln in 1863 proclaimed a national day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens to be celebrated on the fourth Tuesday of each November. Thursday, not Tuesday. And that was the first Thanksgiving. The